unfair and no one ever should be spoken to in the manner that I've seen. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 celebrities who opened up about fan culture. For this list, we're looking at the stars who have detailed negative fan interactions and called out toxic fandom behavior. I was drunk and this guy asked me for a selfie and I was like, no. Number 10, Niall Horan. As a former member of One Direction, and more recently a solo artist, Niall Horan has experienced his fair share of fan interactions, both good and bad. Let's not get complicated, let's just enjoy the view. In the past, he's admitted to avoiding going out due to the hordes of fans waiting outside the band's hotels. In 2016, Horan posted a series of tweets calling out so-called fans who were flooding his phone with hateful messages. It's meant to be a happy place and these are people that are so-called fans of mine abusing me, so I didn't really, didn't really fancy it. The abusive comments weren't just directed at him, but also his loved ones, even his young nephew. Horan told followers that while he considers himself the, quote, most carefree, laid-back person around, he wanted to bring awareness to the issue for other people dealing with it. There's nothing really you can do, only you just say your bit and hope for the best. Number 9. Jennifer Lawrence After her breakout role in Winter's Bone, Jennifer Lawrence quickly became a household name and quickly gained a following of adoring fans. But in Variety's Actors on Actors interview, Lawrence told actor-comedian Adam Sandler how she deals with fan encounters. Once I enter a public place, I become incredibly rude. I turn into <laughs> a huge asshole. If there's one thing we know about the actress, it's that she is brutally honest. And many people, especially her fans, find that personality refreshing. However, admitting that she uses rudeness as a defense tactic garnered criticism, and some questioned how she treated her admirers. In another interview, she discussed how fans may think they know her. But from her point of view, it can be scary being approached by strangers, which is understandable. Why are you nervous? Because I feel like everybody hates me. Why? Because of the internet. Number 8. Billie Eilish there are plenty of receipts showing how much Billie Eilish loves and appreciates her massive fan base. As a self-proclaimed fangirl, she totally understands being obsessed with artists and their work. You really have this issue with the word fans, and I was wondering where that stems from. I think that the reason that it was so weird to me was because one moment I was a fan, and then suddenly I was looked at as this, like, higher up. However, she often has to remind her fans that there is a line that they shouldn't cross, like following her to a hotel or sending gifts to her home address. Eilish told Variety, fans' passion is, quote, so beautiful, but it's also really scary. She's had to get restraining orders against trespassers at her family's home, some of whom have even broken inside. Even when I was 14, and it was so weird, <laughs> because I was like, I'm not even anyone. I just make music." Despite these traumatizing experiences and ridiculous criticism, Eilish still makes an effort to be accessible to her true fans. Turns out I'm not real, just something you paid for. Number 7. Justin and Hailey Bieber Hailey Bieber has had enough. Yes, the model is calling out trolls, posting nasty comments on her husband's ex, Selena Gomez's social media. Justin Bieber is no stranger to dealing with rabid fans and constant paparazzi. Attention only increased when he dated Selena Gomez on and off throughout the 2010s. Out, wiener, but, I gotta keep an eye out for but in 2018, Bieber married Hailey Baldwin. Since then, the couple has been harassed by Jelena fans who still think they should be together despite both Gomez and Bieber moving on. A lot of the hate and the perpetuation comes from like, oh, you stole him. And I guess maybe that just comes from like the fact that they wished that like he had ended up with someone else, and that's fine. Like you can wish that all you want, but that's just not the case. While all three celebs try not to stoke the drama fire, sometimes they feel the need to speak out. In 2020, Bieber blasted one fan for encouraging fellow Jelena shippers to attack Haley in the comments during an Instagram Live. The model has also addressed the years of relentless hate from Gomez fans and told her own fans to stop the toxicity, quote, on her behalf. Number 6. Robert Pattinson The Twilight films made Robert Pattinson an overnight heartthrob in the late 2000s, and since then, he's accumulated a large fan base. Like any celebrity, the world has been all up in his business, particularly his love life. Pattinson began dating fellow Brit FKA Twigs in 2014, with the couple calling it quits in 2017 after a brief engagement. 
he was their white Prince Charming and I think they considered that he should definitely be with somebody white and blonde and not me. During this time, the talented singer-songwriter, who is of Jamaican and Spanish descent, was relentlessly bombarded online with racist comments and messages. In past interviews, Pattinson seemingly found fan culture amusing and strange. It's, I think it's just professional trolls. Well, not that professional trolls, but it's yeah. just people, they get so addicted to kind of just wanting to cause hurt and pain on someone. However, the horrific racism and harassment his partner faced left him rightfully angry and disgusted. In an interview on The Howard Stern Show, he likened the commenters to, quote, professional trolls. It's a faceless enemy. Number five, Eric Kripke and Aaron Moriarty. Never show your strengths to a boy you like. Despite Prime's The Boys being a huge hit, the cast and creators of the Dark Superhero series have dealt with harsh criticism from fans. In 2020, season two was review-bombed by disgruntled fans because they didn't like its new weekly episode rollout schedule. Showrunner Eric Kripke addressed the baffling reaction, telling The Wrap that it was a, quote, creative choice, and that he didn't understand why a fan would, quote, harm something you love because you're disappointed. Hi, trolls. One, this is literally the opposite of the show's f***ing message. Two, you're causing pain to real people with real feelings. Two years later, Kripke denounced the online trolls claiming to be fans after Starlight actress Erin Moriarty opened up about the hurtful hypercriticism of her appearance. You don't like that? Doesn't work for you? In March 2023, Carl Urban, who stars as Billy Butcher, tweeted an expletive-laced message to a toxic fan, though the reason was unspecified. Number four, Cole Sprouse. Like other celebrities on this list, Cole Sprouse, along with his twin brother Dylan, experienced fame at a young age. Around 2018, when the ex-Disney Channel star began dating his Riverdale co-star Lily Reinhardt, he gained another subset of fans, or shippers, who obsessed over their relationship in the show and in real life. The rumors and speculation about his private life never stopped, and while he sees the absurdity of it all, he understandably grows tired of the, quote, insanity and fanaticism. Is that just a consequence of an incredible love? Or is that what fanaticism looks like? Perhaps because those lines were blurred to our audience. It's hard to break those things up, even when life moves on. After Sprouse and Reinhardt split, he apparently received death threats and what he described as, quote, really nasty, honestly criminal stuff. I get a lot of stuff sent to my house or my loved one's houses. Death threats, really nasty, honestly criminal stuff. Number three, Simon Pegg. Actor, writer, and professional nerd Simon Pegg knows a thing or two about fandoms. I find the Star Trek fans have always been very, very inclusive. During an interview with Sirius XM, he revealed he found the most toxic fandom to be Star Wars. To be honest, and as someone who kind of was, you know, kicked off about the prequels in the, uh, in, when they came out, the Star Wars fan base really seems to be the most kind of toxic at the moment. He also acknowledged and apologized for his past behavior as a fan. When Kelly Marie Tran starred in 2017's The Last Jedi, she ended up leaving social media due to the barrage of sexist and racist messages. And she isn't the only actor to be harassed by the dark corners of the Star Wars fandom. In 2022, actress Moses Ingram joined the cast of Obi-Wan Kenobi, and her co-star Ewan McGregor called out the fans flooding her DMs with hateful messages. I just want to say, as the leading actor in the series, as the executive producer in the series, that we stand with Moses. Disney showed their support as well, and even had some words for the trolls. Number two, Lily Reinhardt. Since being catapulted into the spotlight as Betty Cooper on Riverdale, actress Lily Reinhardt has called out several instances of toxic fans and their entitled behavior. It's kind of sad that people felt the need to just make my weight a topic of conversation. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's but it, that's just the world we live in, but yeah. I'm going to always speak out about something that I feel I need to talk about. She's had savage responses to fans body shaming her, speculating on her personal life, invading her privacy and criticizing her boundaries. A lot of people say you should just sweep it under the rug, don't pay attention to it, but that's never really been my style. And Reinhardt took to Twitter to defend her castmate when Bughead shippers harassed Ethel Muggs actress Shannon Purser for her character crushing on Cole Sprouse's Jughead Jones in season three. She reminded everyone that Riverdale relationships are fictional and the actors who portray them are just doing their job. In 2019, Reinhardt condemned the Game of Thrones fandom demanding a rewrite of the infamously divisive series finale, saying, quote, TV shows are not fan service. Well, she's not wrong. I'm not trying to look perfect. I'm not trying to show off this, all of this glamorous 
you know, my life in general is not extremely glamorous. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Finn Wolfhard. The then teenager was already getting disrespect for having boundaries, and from adults no less. And it was a couple, and uh, and I got to, right when I got to my door, they were just like, can we take a picture with you? And I was like, um, no guys, I'm sorry, you followed me back to my house. Pete Davidson. The SNL alum faced criticism from Ariana Grande's fan base, prompting a post about the seriousness of mental health issues. Davidson going on to say, I'm trying to understand how when something happens to a guy, the whole entire world just trashes him without any facts or frame of reference. Demi Lovato. The singer called out her Lovatics for sending death threats to comedian Kathy Griffin. Paul Meskel, the Irish actor, spoke out about being inappropriately touched by a creepy fan. I remember tensing up and feeling just like fury, he said. I turned to her and said, what are you doing? Take your hand off my ass. Doja Cat. This controversial treatment of her own dedicated fans lost her thousands of followers. In a now-deleted tweet, Doja wrote, quote, if you call yourself a kitten or effing kittens, that means you need to get off your phone and get a job and help your parents with the house. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Phoebe Bridgers since debuting around 2017, indie singer-songwriter Phoebe Bridgers has seen massive success both as a solo artist and with the band Boy Genius. And as we know, with success comes an overwhelming amount of attention. In a 2023 interview, Bridgers and bandmates Julian Baker and Lucy Dacus condemn the type of fans who invade personal space, saying their behavior feels dehumanizing. Bridgers recounted when she was approached slash chased at the airport after her father died. If you're a kid and the internet somehow taught you that that's an okay thing to do, then of course I hate capitalism and everything that led you to believe that it's okay to do that. She also touched on the problem with modern stan culture, citing capitalism as a possible influence. And for the people who say these oft disrespectful interactions are just part of the job, Bridgers simply says, quote, it doesn't have to be and we would have to agree. I want to normalize talking about fans. 